Alright, go get them guys. That's on it. That's done. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey, VC here. So we're talking about this uh, training crit race that I did. I kind of have some power stats here. And um, and look, this uh, training crit is, it's an official event put on by that dude right there, Richard, uh, and the guy that's attacking, my teammate Terrence. They uh, they put this on in our local community. We had this before at one point, but it, it went away. Uh, they brought it back. A lot of these guys, everyone in front of me, um, has been mentoring all day, including Mark here. Um, they do the three, four race in the morning. They do the skills clinic. They do the juniors and the women's, they do the cat fives. Um, same here, you know, I brought my son out. I did a video about it last week. And so anyway, so all of the P one, two guys, right. Um, P one, two, three guys, they give back to the community. They mentor and help guys learn how to race. Then at the end of all that, about two hours, two and a half hours, really, uh, in everyone's legs. Then we get to have a little practice race. And so there's no results that are posted, but I mean, it's a race, man. There's like, um, almost 20 guys showing up to test out their legs, you know, for the year to kind of figure out where they are and, and just sort of get those first initial race, you know, jitters out. So before the race, I spoke to Chaz and I said, look, man, you know how to win a race. You've already got that down. This is a practice crit. Let's practice the things we're not good at. And, you know, so I need you to be a teammate. I need you to use your bullets as the best teammate you can be. Uh, you can see from this that Richard and Terrence, they're up the road, allowing me to just sit in and do nothing, which was amazing. But we're leaning hard on Chaz to use his monumental amount of fitness to work for the team because it's a practice crit so we should work on things that we're not good at Chaz working on him being a solid teammate me working on trying to do something in a race once this comes back Chaz let's rip it apart okay when no don't bring it back but when it comes back then let's then let's get wild with it so Chaz is uh, up the road. He's he's kind of sitting second wheel patrolling. Uh, I'm watching Mark, who Mark is uh, your current TT and and road race champion for Masters Division. So solid dude. Uh, and Aaron in the black, he's actually his teammate, and they've got another teammate up the road. That's Valley Kings, presented by ATP Coaching. So those that's like the main team to watch in this. And then we've got Chaz, Nick, and Terrence. Terrence is also up the road. And so, you know, I, dude, usually I'm, I'm slaying myself for the team and I know how to do that well. And so in the practice crit, I want to do something that I don't know how to do well, which is to get a freaking result. And I know it's just a practice crit, but that's like the point is to practice things that I'm not good at. So you can see up the road, Mark is trying to bridge to his teammate and my teammate, Richard and Terrence are up the road. So he's going to go. And so Chaz is looking back. I don't know what he was looking back for, maybe to make sure that we're all still on. But instead of Chaz putting out some 1200 watt sprint to chase Mark down, he slowly ramped it up, which was like perfect because otherwise Chaz would have went up there with the break and it just would have been kind of a repeat of last week. So Chaz really started practicing on being a teammate and using his fitness to get us up here so that then I can make a counter. And right now, Nick, my teammate, pinches me in the butt and gives me this nod like, hey, go now. And so I don't put in this, you know, outlandish side to side bike throw attack. I just kind of use the momentum. I roll off the front and really try to put down power, like seated power. And Mark, since Mark is extremely strong, he goes with me and then Alex goes with me as well. Now, Alex is a, an extremely good sprinter. The guy literally ripped his bike apart in this race. I'll show you at the video at the end because he has so much power. Um, and so he, and he's so motivated, dude. He's so motivated to, to get this going. And Alex is just a, he's a fantastic guy. He's on um, Ascend. Now I'm happy with this. I've got, yeah, two sprinters, with me, but I'm bridging up to one of my teammates 
and then we can kind of see what's going on here. And Alex is so stoked. Even in a race, bro, throwing some encouragement and positivity a homie's way is always the move. And he was really amping up the brake. He was really excited. Now, so here, this is actually a preem lap, and it was for like a $200 set of tires. And my teammates there, Richard, and ugh, dude, I had the dark side of me being like, dude, just blast him, get that preem. But I did it, because this is a practice crit, and that's the most doucher thing to do, to like nip a preem right there they had been off the front the whole time so new dynamic to the race two teammates me and terrence versus mark and richard plus with this good sprinter so i thought so then mark goes by me richard goes by me and alex goes by and terrence is going back to the group and i'm like oh no dude this is not great i've got three of the best sprinters in my area alex is a pure sprinter Mark is extremely strong. I am Smokesville if this comes to the line. And so I I really got to play it cool, right? Um, I'm going to pull through on this break, all right? But I'm not, not going to liquidate myself. I'm not going to really push super hard. I, You know, in any real race, like this is like a proper actual crit on the calendar. Um, I'm just sitting in. I'm not, do, I'm not pulling through at all. But... That's that's a douche move even in a major race, an extreme douche move in a practice crit, right? This is we're just trying to practice here. We're trying to get a good workout. So I am pulling through, um, but Chaz is on the move, man. Chaz is trying to bridge uh, to me, and I could see him doing that. And so I got to try to slow this down a little bit without being a total douche nozzle, um, and hope that Chaz gets up because I have really no chance of winning from this move right now so I'm keeping my matches I'm reserving myself Richard actually is he's done and he's gonna go back to Chaz and so now um, I just gotta pull through but not empty the tank so Chaz actually connects on after a huge hero move I see him I'm like awesome I give him the thumbs up behind my back like you know dude Good job. That was killer. But I am as fresh as a daisy, dude. I have done nothing. I mean, I feel like I've got full matches. Chaz actually, as soon as he catches on, he attacks, uh, which is amazing because he had been doing a really big effort to even get to us, and he didn't just sit in. He His goal is to be a teammate, so he goes. Now, I followed this because Richard isn't going to chase this, and Alex isn't going to chase this. And so I'm thinking, well, Mark is pretty fresh and Chaz is pretty battered. So I don't really like that scenario, right? And so I, I follow that. So we're all together. And that puts Richard, who's done the most work out of anyone in this race, in front of me. And I just, I go all in, man. I do a one minute as hard as I can go effort. I actually almost hit 1,100 watts there in the sprint. Because I'm so fresh. I'm so fresh, so clean. And I just, like, this is it. This is the move. This is the race. And I, I go all in right here. Chaz, from Chaz's camera, you can see I go. Now, this is why I was able to do this. It's not because I'm super strong. But because Richard didn't make my wheel. And Mark and Chaz and uh, Alex didn't chase. Right? And they actually thought that Richard had made my wheel. So they were like, that's cool. You know, we've got the two big teams have two guys up there. But he didn't, dude. Time to go. Go, go. Go, go. I did something like 500 watts for a minute to be able to, to get away from him. And, man, I was... Look, I never have opportunities to do well, and right now I'm in a good opportunity. And then, bro, I see the field. In the distance, I have an opportunity to lap the field. And if I get to them, I'm golden, dude. It doesn't matter who's trying to chase me from behind. If Alex, Richard, and, and Mark all to come together and do a little team time trial to pull me back, that's, that's what I'm worried about. But if I can make it to that group, 
you know, I've got Nick in there, um, and I've got I've got some friends, bro. Like, here's the thing: is that having friends in the peloton is way better than having enemies. So if I can get to that peloton, you know what I mean? There's a lot of strong guys in there that aren't really chasing, and so I'm just sort of battling the the Valley Kings guys. Got my head down. Uh, I'm really trying to push. I've actually, my head right now is like all, looking down and I almost crashed. It was super scary. And I was like, dude, bro, I literally almost just crashed myself out of this breakaway, which would have been so fitting. It, like, honestly, I should have crashed because that would have been like, of course, this is what I would do is, is be in a position to win my first race and, and wreck myself out. Uh, but so I see the, the group up the road and bro, I'm, I'm just giving it, I'm giving it the berries, man. And I feel so good. My legs feel so good. Everything feels so good. If I can make it to that group, I, I'm, I'm done, dude. It's, it's, it's over. This is, uh, I've put myself in a really good situation, but again, you know, Mark didn't chase, Alex didn't chase, my teammate didn't chase, you know, it all came down to honestly that one moment of me versus Richard, um, and that sometimes, dude, is where races, there's so much that goes on, but really the race is won by one single moment. And I was extremely fresh for that one moment. Most of the time, I'm never fresh, right? Usually I would have gone from the gun or bowled something back or just been all in for the team. And when that moment, when my moment uh, would arise, I'd be smoked and I wouldn't be able to get away. So because of... Chaz because of Nick because of Terrence and, and just because of everyone else like Sean Bagley and Aaron in the group I mean I had everything really go my way uh for this so it's not like I you know was some superhuman beast that just rode everyone off my wheel like everything played into my favor but that's one of the things was that I was practicing being patient I was practicing making right moves I was practicing all these things that I suck at you know what I mean? And, and dude, it felt so good. So I've lapped the field, man. That is like a life achievement to lap a field. No matter what the field is, no matter where it is, who's there, what course it is, bro, I lap the field and I feel terrific. Now to give you some kind of like context here, in a crit, when you lap the field, I'm up one lap. Sometimes what will happen is everyone's now on the same lap. Um, they won't make the group do an extra lap. They didn't do that here. They had the group still doing all their laps. I was just up one lap. Um, but I can draft. I, my teammates can help me, right? It's it's kind of crazy. Uh, and I did get a lot of help, actually, in, in this group. Um, you know, some, some other guys just went to the front and kind of helped drive the pace. But I, again, this is a practice crit. So, yeah, I could have just got on and just sat there, and that would have been that. But I feel like in a in a proper race, like a bigger a, a race on a bigger stage, I wouldn't lap the field. I'd be out by myself trying to stay away from a really strong chasing break. So I need to try to practice, you know, continuing this move. That's one of my biggest weaknesses is big effort followed by sustained effort. And so that's what I'm practicing here. So I'm on the front going. I don't have to do this. But I don't know where those other guys are. If they're chasing me, I cannot let this slip through my fingers. So I pull on the front for a while, and then we, uh, my, my teammate Nick, he went to the front. He's helping drive the pace. Here I'm, I'm asking the lap cards. Like, I've got two laps left, right? I'm up one. I just want to confirm that I'm not going to do something stupid. Coast across the line with actually one lap to go. Because that'd be terrible. So uh, we've got two laps left, three laps left, I think, for the group two for me. Those two guys, Scott Hollander, like a very strong Masters rider. They go, and again, dude, I don't have to chase those guys, but this is a practice crit. We're practicing. We're trying to put ourselves in the fire. That, that, that's like the term. You play in the fire, and you put yourself in bad situations so that you know how to fight out of those, right? And so right there, like, yeah, I didn't have to do this, but, you know, um, when I go, when I race the big boys, when I'm, when I'm trying to race some of the major dudes in California, some of these bigger races, I need to be able to hold my own. And I know this isn't like any crazy race that's super amazing or anything like that, but if I can't even 
do well at my local training crit? Like, how can I expect to do well at the bigger races? So, like, this is step one, you know what I mean? Step one is to be able to even know how or have confidence to do well. So we're on the last lap. The brake's up the road. The brake's actually going to get caught by this group. So I am a full lap ahead of everyone, dude. And I am smiling from ear to freaking ear. Uh, I'm so happy. And so many people in this helped me do this. Like everything went my way. It was just fantastic. So then I drop off and I get to coast across the line and, and post up, which, dude, the greatest feeling ever. All right, go get them, guys. That's on it. That's done. Yeah, dude. So anyway, man, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, Vegan Cyclist. You. Yeah. Good job, Tyler. Good job, buddy. Good to you. Nice. Good job, man. Yeah. Good job, good job man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, laughing in the field is uh, fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw you there. You're like, we're wondering if you're going to do it twice. <laughs> Good job! Third, fourth, good job! Ride bikes too? Look, it's a practice crit. Whatever. Doesn't matter. A win's a win. Stoked. I had that. What? There's actually an Instagram. I had it. Yeah, thanks, Shimano. I had it. I was right behind Tucker. Oh, didn't you? Whose bike is this? Mine. Oh, dude, you've had some terrible luck. Damn, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs>